What is going on, CyberX YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyberX YouTube page. As always, if you're interested in learning about cryptocurrencies, commodities, indices, foreign exchange, please go ahead and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. It's free to do so. The YouTube channel is growing. You guys are enjoying the content. We're helping and putting out valuable information to the cryptocurrency and Forex community. So we really would appreciate the love and the support. In today's video breakdown, you all, we are going to cover some tweets that I put out on my Twitter. We're going to talk about LCX and Casper price action. Um, and then I'm also going to cover Cover some CFI and DeFi information, talk about LCX, the company, the exchange itself, why I'm so bullish on the project. And so uh, with all that being said, I do hope that you enjoy this video breakdown. Nothing that I constitute here is financial advice. Um, and again, do your own personal research, you guys. <clears throat> Just because I'm a profitable trader doesn't mean to sit here and take all that I say and apply it to your portfolio. Do your own research. Gain an interest in cryptocurrency projects yourself that you yourself actually go and research. Don't just you know, be an advocate of watching YouTube. Take it upon yourself and really dabble into this market. So anyways, let's get started in today's video breakdown. Let's head over to Twitter real fast. And I wanted to show you guys a tweet that I put out and I said, these cryptos are less than $1 now, which is less than a lottery ticket, but people would still rather try and play the lottery instead of learn how to trade. Now, um, I listed LCX, I listed Casper, I listed HBAR, XLM, XRP, ADA, ALGO, um, XDC, all right? Again, utility-driven cryptocurrencies, a lot of these, I think in the future, long-term, anywhere two, five, seven, ten 10 years from now, are gonna have massive potential, you know, not investing in Advice, do your own research you all these crypto assets in my opinion have a solid community they have a solid team backing them they're doing really good things not only for the world but for the economy for the uh, banking and financial infrastructure and it's just really going to grow over time expect especially if cryptocurrency is going to get mainstream adopted and institutionally adopted right which it's kind of inevitable at this point i hope that me showing you these videos and these breakdowns are kind of trying to wake you all up if you're skeptical still about cryptocurrency trust and believe it's because we are in the infant stage we are in the adoption phase it is being implemented in our infrastructure right now but five ten years down the road you sticking around in the cryptocurrency market now are going to seem like an expert when somebody five ten years down the road is just learning how to buy cryptocurrency on Coinbase for the first time ever, right? Um, so anyways, I understand the small percentage of individuals that you fit into. Let's jump back into the Twitter, all right? So um, Nathaniel Howard commented on this tweet and he said, hypothetically, you have 10K of each token, where would you put your next $500? So I'm assuming he means 500 United States dollars. Um, and he said, hypothetically, 10K of each token. That's what I personally am aiming for in every single one of these crypto assets. The only one that I'm not there yet is my ADA and my ALGO portfolio. Every other coin right here on this list, I have a minimum of at least 10K. Not investing advice, but that's how I built my portfolio. Okay, and not 10K United States dollars. No, we're talking about 10,000 tokens of each asset okay that are also obviously of course below a dollar right now but i responded back to that tweet and i said great question to get the best bang for my buck i'd personally seek to put it in one of the assets with a lower price so lcx or casper compared to where i think they are going in the short term meaning this year to next year maybe even into 2024 these have the best roi for gains if price even just goes to one dollar so either of the two so let's just head over to the charts real fast i want to show you guys what it is that i'm talking about and why it is when he asked where would i put the next 500 dollars at this would be it or these two crypto projects Projects, mainly because they're the most least expensive and in the near term I think that both both of these assets have the potential to reach a dollar to maybe a dollar fifty two dollars um, this bull run right whenever the next bull run does come because eventually guys the market will reverse we will get out of this temporary bearish market once institutional adoption picks up and things of that nature I need to put my desk up a little bit I'm hunching over um, but so looking at the charts right here I just want to show you guys some similarities I actually noticed that there are a lot of similarities between the price action on LCX and Casper so just looking at what happened we see here around March 13th 14th we had a nice price pump on LCX correlating that with Casper we also see the same price pump on March 13th slash 14th right where we see again look at the formation the charts tell us everything we see a price pump higher high higher low higher high this was a temporary uptrend formation same thing over here on lcx we see the same pattern march 14th we see a price bump higher high higher low higher high formation so collectively speaking we have a new a to b move because we broke previous structure on both of these assets where we can see 
previous market structure highs were violated and we did grab liquidity to the downside on both of these assets. So if this is the start of a new uptrend, this A move or this swing low would need to hold Okay, or we would need to see price action maintain above this level or grab liquidity beneath this level and start to reverse back to the upside. So in my personal opinion, these are good accumulation levels on either or of these assets. Now, again, not investing advice, just compared to the upside potential, even if these assets reach a dollar is insane. So. I have responded back to Nathaniel by telling him that this is what I would personally do if I was going to invest in any of these assets right now that's on the list and I had an extra $500 just to get the best bang for my buck short term. Because what you can do if these assets appreciate to a dollar, a dollar fifty, maybe even two dollars in the near term, you can take that money or at least I would, right? Not investing advice. That's what I would do. And then I would seek to allocate the profit either back into the market once price depreciates a little bit, buying more of the cryptocurrency at a, at a discounted price, or I would look to put that profit into another asset, right? Always flipping and rebalancing your portfolio. Now, again, not investing advice. That's all stuff that I personally would do. Okay. So just thought that I'd show you guys this. Now, this isn't giving any price predictions or anything like that. I'm just showing you all that right now, LCX from its all time high is around 84% discounted. So again, you can look at it from an investor's, persp uh, an investor's perspective on buying something at a discount, right? We don't want to buy at highs. We want to properly dollar cost average into a cryptocurrency or a project. Um, that is discounted, right? Because if we're looking for upside potential, we want limited risk exposure to the downside or depreciation in our portfolio if that is the case and the market does decide to go lower. And we want to have the best bang for our buck, meaning the best ROI or long-term or short-term potential, whatever it is that you're trying to do in the market, whether that's short-term or long-term, right? But looking here, okay, just, just before I hop off the charts, LCX currently from its all-time high around 70 cents. Some exchanges only got to like 67, 68 cents. Um, we're sitting at a 83% discount. That's almost close to 100%, okay, from its low. Uh, and then same thing, I showed you guys yesterday on Casper, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe it was a couple days ago when I did a Casper video, um, but we're sitting from $1.36, which is generally on most exchanges, it's recorded all-time high or generally around that area. Um, we're sitting at around 90, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 92 to 93% discount, okay? So we'll just scoop that down here. All right, so 94% discount. That's almost 100% discount from its low, all right? So again, you know, this is a strategy that I'm personally taking. Right now, I just allocated $10,000 into the market. I showed you guys a video breakdown into that, so I'm gonna let my portfolio take a breather real quick, see if we can get any lower price entries on some of these assets before I start pumping more capital into the market. I have complete control over my emotions. You know, becoming a six-figure trader and things of that nature has really allowed me to see how to properly in my, in, in my experience, move money around without having emotions attached to it, right? I have the money that I'm willing to exchange, I have the money that I'm willing to leverage, and then I have money that I'm not willing to lose that I don't touch at all and it sits on the side, and that has allowed me to control my emotions by understanding that the money that you involve in this market, you cannot have any type of emotional attachment to. And in my personal opinion, that's led me to trading 10 times better than individuals that I come into contact with that have zero control over their emotions and buy or sell based off of fear and greed, all right? So anyways, um, if you guys are enjoying the video breakdown and hearing me talk so far, you wanna see more videos like this, make sure that you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and comment in the description down below. Maybe I have some assets that you would like to see covered more often, or maybe you have some assets that you would like to see covered that I haven't covered on this YouTube channel so far. I'd love to do it for you guys, even though I'm not gonna add those to my portfolio. I'd still love to dabble into a little bit of research, maybe blow your guys' mind by some of the things that I could find on the internet that I can share with you all, right? Um, so let's jump into LCX, a project that I'm extremely bullish on long term, lots and lots of gems on the LCX website, institutions and international um, businesses are always talking about LCX, it's part of the World Economic Forum, I mean massive, massive, massive potential for the future of the LCX exchange, All right, so um, I just want to start here with this uh, article. It says, why is institutional money staying out of crypto? Um, just scrolling down to some key takeaways. The expectations of the herd are very different than most retail investors, says LCX, and they come from an environment that is used to a culture of compliance tailored custody, liquid markets and institutional grade customer service. Lack of trust is a serious issue. 
Despite efforts to bring cryptocurrency into regulatory alignment with the rest of the world, there is still a major pain point for institutional investors that effectively prevent them from joining the crypto party, says LCX. The institutional infrastructure that old money needs is extremely underdeveloped. So you can see here that institutions, again, we see uh, are sitting on the sidelines with massive amounts of capital. You guys have to understand how early we are into this market. And when these institutions get regulatory clarity and regulatory framework is built around these crypto assets, there is no holding back all the money that is going to flow into this market. And it is going to become uh, a 10 trillion, 15 trillion, 20 trillion dollar market cap. And the 3% of individuals that invest in the population right now in the cryptocurrency is going to go from 220 million, which is what it's at right now, to 500 million you know, 600 million, 700 million, 800 million, and then to a billion people, right? And it's gonna keep going and keep going. The population is at 7.7 .7 billion, you guys. The possibilities in this market are endless and you need to wake up and understand that. This is just like the internet boom and bust cycle, right? You're in the early adoption phase of cryptocurrencies. And I'm gonna prove that for you guys here, all right? So um, scrolling down and reading the rest of this article, LCX say the vast majority of institutional investors continue to operate in traditional markets in the asset class with no interest of a move into crypto whatsoever. In reality, most old money is not just ignoring crypto, but it's actively disinterested and skeptical, right? So you guys see here, they're still nervous about putting and allocating their money into cryptocurrency because it has no regulatory clarity. There's too much downside risk for institutional money to adopt crypto right now, right? Institutions can't just risk their, their assets and their portfolios into cryptocurrency because there's still that downside risk. Once that downside risk, we start to build a base around that and the fact that, you know, certain projects, certain crypto assets aren't going to get rug pulled because there's regulatory clarity, Boom. That's when institutions are going to be like, now we have the green light and it's going to get crazy. Mark my words, watch and see what happens. Institutional money is generally a high risk averse or highly risk averse. Pension funds, for example, as a rule, do not invest in precarious assets with high volatility. It says here, look at this. Pension funds, for example, as a rule, literally do not invest in precarious assets with high volatility. Crypto is very volatile. The largest in the world, including Norway's government pension fund with assets. Look how much money they operate with, guys and gals. $898 billion. Three times the entire market cap of the cryptocurrency industry, Norway is a good example as it also refuses to invest in companies that it believes are harmful to the planet, including tobacco, firearms, and nuclear weapons producers, companies that break workers' rights, or the mining lodging companies that cause significant environmental damage. Using vast warehouses of computers to mine cryptocurrency consumes incredible amounts of electricity and could in fact be caused of contributing to climate change. Look at this. This is Bitcoin in a nutshell. So what do you think when institutions like Norway's government pension fund with 898 billions get regulatory clarity and cryptocurrency assets like XRP are eco-friendly or XLM or, you know, whatever the case may be, whatever it is that you're interested, whichever one floats your boat, it doesn't matter, right? They all have future utility. They all have future use cases. It, this, is, this crypto adoption, guys, is going to be so insane. All right. So I found that this article was interesting mainly because LCX was mentioned in the article. You head over to the LCX website. There's so much information that you can study on this page right here. LCX.com. Click through it. Absolutely eye opening. I have an article here for you guys right here that I thought that I'd share. And it reads banks embracing cryptocurrency March 30th, 2022. The banking industry is now attempting to catch up. Banks would like to compete and profit in this new world. Guys. I made a video with you all talking about key phrases, key vocabulary. Look at this right here. The banking industry is now attempting to catch up. Banks would like to compete and profit in this new world. The devil is in the details. There is a new world order and it is in the form of digital financial integration. We are being transformed and interprocessed and migrated over to a digital world. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to gradually happen over time. And it has been happening over time since like the 1990s with PayPal and Elon Musk and all this, all these billionaires now, which were hundred millionaires back in the day, but are billionaires now because they're smart and they know what to properly invest in. Why are they invested in the cryptocurrency? But the average American is not because they're ignorant right? In the sense of ignorance, not understanding something, 
right? You're, you're ignorant to the information, so you're skeptical about it. But as soon as you put your foot in the water and you really start to realize this is crazy and it is happening, you're like, hmm, okay, let me do a little bit more research. And the rabbit hole goes so deep, you guys. If you just do your research, it's insane, okay? So reading this article, I found it to be interesting that they talk about um, stages and the strategy consisting of two parts. It says it right here. Their strategy consists of two parts, going to experiment with cryptocurrency offerings and pushing regulators to create rules that benefit banks. Some wealthy clients are being offered cryptocurrency investments. Others are considering Bitcoin trading desks. In 2019, JP Morgan even launched its own digital currency. So we see them talking about different stages, right? The accumulation process, the banks and institutions are getting integrated, right? They're learning about cryptocurrency. They're hiring people to make cryptocurrency decisions, right? It's all a learning process. Instead of cautioning regulators about cryptocurrencies, banking industry representatives are now complaining that regulators have not attacked quickly enough, costing banks precious time in their mission to compete. Guys, this sentence literally should make you bullish on cryptocurrency right here. Their initial skepticism, however, has cost them time around the traditional around the traditional banking industry a new financial world is emerging look at the key like i can't stress enough that the the devil's in the details they've said it so many times and again this is on the lcx platform we see down here there are some top banks who have invested in the crypto currency let's have a look we're not going to get into the depths but standard charter jp morgan barclays goldman sachs Crypto, 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 boom, boom, boom. And when they get regulatory clarity, the money is coming. You think a $10 trillion market cap is insane? Well, just wait and watch when $50 trillion to $100 trillion in the next five to 10 years happens and you were at the forefront and were patient enough to hold two to five to seven years in this market, all right? Maybe you're 20 years old and you're holding some crypto. Well, guess what? That means, realistically speaking, if these crypto assets pop off, again, not financial advice, but if they do, you could potentially retire in your 30s. 90% of the population doesn't retire before age 68. Boom, mind blown, okay? Personally, I'm willing to take that bet and I'm willing to take that risk. Not only do I trade Forex, but dabbling in the cryptocurrency has completely revolutionized my life. So here we have LCX.com again. Like, like I said, lots of information on this platform. LCX is company culture. This is, again, why I'm so bullish behind this company. LCX has an amazing infrastructure, an amazing team behind it. And when you can see that in a cryptocurrency, at least from my personal research, that means long term, they have the key to survival in this market. So I just want to read this. This is really where I'm like, okay, LCX, I stand behind them. I love this um, from their page. LCX stands for Liechtenstein Crypto Assets Exchange. LCX is building a new category leader in blockchain, forestering a holistic view of digital and traditional assets. Our ambition is to build something sustainable, not only to be able to show short-term success, but also to deliver a long-term strategy, creating strategies and visions for the next 5, 10, and 50 years. So when I invest in a company, just like if you were investing in the stock market, right, you would want to find a company that has stability that seeks to last long term in the market. The key to success in this market is long term ability. All right. If you can if you can stay long term in this market, it's statistically proven that you will come out on top. Right. The cryptocurrency markets, the stock exchange, whatever it is that floats your boat, long time in the market is where people come out on top. All right. And you can see right here just the header for what they stand for is long term credibility. All right. So coming down here, we see LCX's company culture and values reflect the need for a customer-centric approach, the ability to adapt to the market or technology that changes quickly, and the ambition to build something outstanding. LCX is a technology company at heart, and it has committed to the following company culture principles. Look at their company culture principles. I was like, wow, this company is amazing. Customer focus first. That's outstanding. Their first need is, the cust is to customer care. That's beyond outstanding to learn and be cautious. So look at this. They're always accumulating knowledge and then hopefully implementing it properly to reflect, deliver results, to simplify and take action, loyalty, trust. We are family, help and trust each other. And then they say, F average, be legendary. Yo, when I read this, I was like, ha, this company is outstanding. The fact that they put this on their website, look at this. It literally says it right here. Screw average, I'm not gonna cuss. Screw average, be legendary. Okay, so right here, this got me leading this, you know, this got me 
This got me hyped, so I kept reading this article. LCX is a pioneering blockchain infrastructure bridging the traditional monetary system and a fast-moving trusted technology landscape. We believe in building culture that has highly talented and skillful people in every position, building an environment that forsters teamwork, no barrier for sharing ideas, every idea and innovation must benefit the customer, and to promote instant and innovative progress. That is insane. LCX's business plan and product development structure around the following key elements. Look at the key elements behind their business plan. Security, transparency, and value. Creating value for our customers by focusing on their needs, setting new standards in the financial monitoring, reporting, anti-money laundering, and know your customer regulation, and security by implementing the highest security standards, processes, and technologies to secure LCX's infrastructure. Boom. This project is going to be insane long term. I'm going to get into a little bit of a price prediction based off of uh, market cap at the end of this video. Again, not financial advice. But it says to finish this off, we prioritize team objectives as they will be a milestone in the company's success. LCX understands that we are stronger as a team, thus ensuring that every goal is achieved with humility and solution driving optimism to excel in the space. We are responsible for solving hard challenges, maintaining excellence in our work, taking accountability for our actions and developing everything that ends up benefiting our customers. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. Seriously, bravo. I mean, they couldn't have said this any better. This made me bullish in this project. Not only that, but doing all other kinds of research on this project, we see here an evolution of a new financial system, CFI and DeFi. Understand the difference. This is key and important to the backbone of what LCX is and their future in this market. December 23, 2021, this article was written and it says, when the iconic news of the bankruptcy filing by the U.S. investment bank, Liam Brothers Holdings in 2008 got noticed, it shook the faith of people in banks so much internally that a new class of assets that does not need any backing from traditional banks came into the limelight. Bitcoin, later after a decade, cryptocurrencies have gained popularity and became the most financially debated asset globally. There has been no turning back for cryptocurrency since then. They started with the objective of decentralizing the financial trading system, but at the time, the only part was crypto trading. However, moving forward, the DeFi decentralized finance exchange got all the attention. This introduced the world not only backed by the trading part of cryptocurrencies, but even had various use cases such as tokenization, digital assets, crypto loans, crypto derivatives, and so forth. There is a need for a deep understanding of concepts like centralized finance and decentralized finance, so understand the two. The moment cryptocurrencies were discovered, companies started looking for various ways to utilize them, more numerous financial services. To administer them, there are two major platforms that are accessible. Centralized finance, CFI exchanges, that play a role of the middleman to handle users, crypto transactions, and actions. Decentralized finance exchanges eradicated the requirement of any third party to manage the actions of users, therefore permitting technology to adopt and the users have the control to handle their transaction and deals. So just scrolling down here, why this is so bullish for LCX, various, look at how this reads. If you guys are still here, by the way, smash that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Various top CFI exchanges have been executing crypto financial services for quite a while now. And one of them is the LCX exchange, okay? Users need to create an account with LCX and utilize the platform to make initial transfers and receive funds. Not only this, but LCX is a regulated exchange containing eight licenses with including TT Exchange. I'm not going to get into all of the licenses that, that they have, but right here it says LCX exchange is a regulated exchange. Guys, that is big. That is big. They're already regulated. They're already doing what other exchanges are seeking to do, right? Bank and institutions see that this platform is regulated. They're doing business with the World Economic Forum. It's all correlated. This is staged. Watch and see what happens when bank and institutions get regulatory clarity in the crypto assets themselves. They're going to start utilizing exchanges to transfer cryptocurrencies. Okay, you saw that in you saw that a centralized exchange is a party that plays the role of a middleman to handle users' crypto transactions. That is big, okay? That is big. So understand where you sit at with this project and understand really what it is that the company is doing and the role that it plays. But crypto is a global network. The networks are open. And again, this is the last article before we head off into the price prediction. So again, I do appreciate you guys for sticking around. Crypto is a global network. The networks are open, eradicating the barriers of borders. It enables every individual in the world to do transactions on shared networks. Similarly, they interact on a shared network, the internet. 
More significantly, these networks themselves are not handled by governments that can utilize their monetary systems to impede economic liberty and prosperity. The, this design is principle and leads to the open markets and strengthens the trade freedom, investment liberty, financial liberty, and monetary freedom. Cryptocurrencies, guys, are going to be so big in the future right now as an individual. Am I, again, personal opinion, not financial advice, what you should be doing is accumulating knowledge. This is the knowledge accumulation zone right now, where in the next two to five years, you're either going to be one of the individuals that soaked up all this knowledge from mentors like myself who have been in this game for six years, who have seen the true potential. I quit my day job. I make a living off of trading now. And I'm just here as an individual attempting to try and show people what it is that I do in the market. So that way, hopefully it can help you, right? Nothing that I constitute here is a financial decision for you to make on, on your part. However, everything that I do give is what it is that I've done in the market that has benefited me. And you can see how that works by visual proof that I've given you. And hopefully it rubs off on you. Blessings to you guys all. Let's get into this price prediction on LCX real fast. I just want to show you, all right? If this is an amazing cryptocurrency company, which I personally believe it is, and if this market is going to reach a $5 trillion, $10 trillion, $20 trillion market cap, then there's no way that LCX cannot at least be worth $4.42. That would put it at a market cap of Tezos, which is all the way down at the bottom in the top 50. All right, so if we look at the top 50, just scrolling all the way down, I just lowballed it because Tezos is number 50, right? So we just picked that. That would put LCX upwards of around $4.42. Do I believe that this coin has the potential to reach a $2.5 billion market cap? Yes, personally, I do. I think that it has at least the potential to reach a five to ten billion dollar market cap minimum by 2030, and that's a freaking steal because look at this even if it just reaches ten billion dollar market cap, that's an 18 dollar LCX that's 169x of whatever it is that you put into LCX at this current price level. Okay, again, not investing advice, but I'm willing to take that risk. That is why I said I would allocate that five hundred dollars over to a coin like LCX or Casper because they are so inexpensive and the upside potential is there, especially considering the fact that they are below, below even 50 cents, you can get more coins. The upside potential reaching $18 in the future is insane in my personal opinion, right? So again, thank you for uh, the love and the support on the YouTube channel, guys. In the next Casper video, I'm gonna give you all instructions on how to participate in the Casper giveaway where we're gonna give away uh, 1,000 Casper tokens to 10 lucky YouTube subscribers. So I do appreciate the love and the support that everybody has shown on this channel. I seriously do. I hope that everybody has a blessed weekend. It's going to be a little bit of a hectic weekend for me. I'm moving out of this house into uh, another place here in town. Um, so <clears throat> blessings to you guys all. If I don't catch up with you this weekend, I'll catch up with you guys in the next couple of video breakdowns. I hope that you all do more research on this project eye-opening project right here. So much more research that you guys could do. The rabbit hole goes so deep. The community for CypherX is absolutely outstanding. People are reaching out to me. They're joining the courses because they're interested in this cryptocurrency adoption and this Forex adoption. And they're really interested in learning. If you're one of those individuals, guys, reach out to me, send me an email. I'd love to hop on a Zoom call with you. Appreciate the love and the support. As always, be cognizant, be aware, stay active. Seriously, protect yourself out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video breakdown.